Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome to Patrick's Paradox, one of the most mind-blowing puzzle games I have ever played. This is a game about recursion, about inception, and about infinity. This is a box within a box within a box within a box within infinity, and it is insane, let me tell you. So, I'm in this world multi-infinity. You know what? I actually have seen this before. Because I think that's what happens when you push infinity outside of infinity. Or that's, no, that's what infinity and the regular box are facing the edge. It's a double infinity. Because if I pushed infinity outside, well, I guess it would go there. But before, it would go into a void. I, I did come across this in a previous episode, but now working with it is nuts. So they just both got to be facing the edge. And then I'll push out infinity. And then I'll push out just the regular box. So we are working with infinities beyond our comprehension. If this is your first episode for some reason, I would step back a couple episodes. But if you've been following along, somehow infinity makes sense. It just does. So first thing is, this is a level within itself. So I'll escape the level. This is the recursive part. So now I've got to set up infinity. Normally there would be a void here, outside of a level, inside a level, inside a level, outside of that is infinity, so I have escaped this. And then uh, let me just push this out to rescue it. And then outside of double infinity, you gotta set up both the regular and infinity, or maybe you just have to set up infinity. This is probably the time to figure it out. Outside of infinity is just the regular level, so outside infinity and a regular level gives you double infinity. It all makes sense now. So then I push this out, and then I push this out, and then I win. Love it. There is triple infinity. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Well, the logical idea of triple infinity probably means you need to have double infinity, single infinity, and regular infinity all facing the top. So now, yep, I pushed out double infinity, I pushed out single infinity, I pushed out regular recursion, and I pushed out myself. The infinities are all sorted. That's just wonderful. So good. Okay, so now I have a void block, and I have to get everything inside the void block in order to have everything be at the edge of triple infinity. That makes perfect sense. So let's get all these in. And then I've got to enter from like here, and then push all these down. And then do I, pu yeah, I do push that out. Oh god, I just ate triple infinity. I can't wait to find a quadruple infinity. I don't think I can do that here, though. I just gotta win. Let's go to this. Oh, it can happen now. It can happen. Right? <laughs> yeah, it can. Outside the void is the quadruple infinity. All right, that's a little too far. Let's get started. I think I gotta push down triple infinity first, and then have everything go up. And I'll push out double infinity next. Oh, there's a block in front of me. If I push this out... Okay, it comes out of single infinity. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, then what happens if I push this here? It keeps infinitely replacing. And what if I enter from the top? Oh, I see. Hold on. Let me just rescue some stuff. That's why I have the clone to help some with some bad ordering. So here I can just push this down and out of the way. So now I can set up some more infinities. Single infinity. And then I'll push out the box. And then I'll push out the clone. Nice. Love to see it. When am I dealing with quadruple infinity? It's gotta happen. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Epsilon inside Epsilon. Um, well, so I can create Epsilon and enter it here. Oh, and this itself is the level. It's another clone. Oh, I understand. I understand. So then if I push this here, I can create a double Epsilon. Right? Yeah. Okay. However, there's a block and this one is not so easily accessible. So let me just push both of these out right now. Well, maybe I can push this box into the triple epsilon? No. I'm actually not sure what the point of this block is. Oh, well, maybe I can push this into double epsilon. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm in 
Oh, I see the point of the block. I see the point of the block. There's a barrier, and this needs to create the barrier. Now I'm in triple epsilon. Love it. More triple epsilon. Okay, so this is probably single epsilon. So I've got to push this here. This makes double epsilon. So now I'm in double epsilon, and this box has to be pushed out. So first I'll set this up here, enter double epsilon again, and push this out, and then return to single epsilon. And actually then I need to set up triple epsilon by having an epsilon inside double epsilon. Go in, push the box here, and I should just win. Ooh, I don't win yet. Oh, well, here's what I do. I just shut down the epsilon inside double epsilon, and then I enter single epsilon. No, I enter double epsilon. Oh, no. What I needed to do when I pushed that yellow block in, well, was actually not do it so soon. Yeah, this can't go in yet. That's one of the last things I need to do. So I'll put you here. Now go into triple epsilon, solve this, and then... I gotta go into here, no, I gotta go into here, make it so it's just a single epsilon. How do I push that block in though? Because that block is just gonna, well, stop me from entering. Oh, never mind, I enter from the bottom. <laughs> Duh. Okay, cool. Ooh, quintuple epsilon. Lovely. <laughs> That's just great. Well, what am I even meant to do? I guess free up this block somehow? Okay, free up the block. And then if I eat here, will I not have created triple epsilon? Oh, I see. I see a little. So now there's a block inside single epsilon. So now I gotta eat one of these. So then create a barrier. And now there's a block inside double epsilon. But first, I need to eat two blocks. There just needs to constantly be a wall. Triple Epsilon is fine, but now with Quadruple Epsilon, I need two, I need, yeah, two blocks. So then, that is created. So then, this box needs to go inside Quintuple Epsilon. Oh, and that's where the green one was supposed to go. I now see the whole point. Okay. Alright, slowly getting the hang of this. And now this will go into quintuple epsilon. I can just enter this from here, enter this, and win. One more level. Dude. Dude I've only been playing this world for 10 minutes. One more level. Mm. <laughs> That's a lot of infinity. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times infinity? And at the end of it all, 10 <laughs> times infinity. All right, this is just absurd now. What lies beyond 10 times infinity? This. Oh, but inside here, there is 10 times epsilon, probably. Yeah. We're going to make 10 times epsilon. Wonderful. What a great journey this is. Here I go. And with that, my goal. Dude, how wonderful. I can't believe it. This can't be the end, right? It's like easier than the beginning, <laughs> but way more mind-blowing. I think that's it? Dude, what a good game! I actually don't mind that the ending was easier than the beginning because it was also way more mind-blowing. If it was harder, my brain would have fallen out. So it was the pr appropriate difficulty for how disgusting of a concept that was. Also, I notice both those worlds were clone. I was going to go back and show you, but I didn't need to show. When there was that branching path, that was just the clone. It's the same world, there's no extra levels. How cool was that? Intro. Patrick's Parabox. Let's go. Very nice credits, but... Is there a credits inside of credits? Oh, there is something extra! Ooh. And don't mind if I do. What is this? Congratulations on reaching the end. Thank you for playing. Well, hold on. What the? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what is this? It looks like there's more, but this... What the hell is going on here? Are these just all the levels that I've done? Get me out of here. Return to hub. There might be something in there for all I know. 
it looks like there's several other hubs here. Like, what is this? Are these the main hubs? Yeah, these are the main hubs. And then this was the final one. Oh, and there's five new worlds. So th there's a challenge world. There's a gallery. Oh, there's an appendix. Oh, and here's the intro. Oh, nice. I feel like I want to do gallery right now. This... Seems the most interesting. Here is a few images from the game's development. The initial sketch of the game idea, it'd be a stealth puzzle game where you sneak inside of walls and blocks. A randomly generated test level. At this point, you could transfer between boxes but not enter or exit them. A test level of a box containing itself, which was an idea adapted from the game Soko Soko by Juner. Notes on the math for enter and exit animations. One of many edge case testing levels and also a visualization of the structure of boxes. This is really cool to look at. Oh, you can see the primitive version. Dude had a smile back then. I'm actually shocked they didn't keep the smile. That's so cute. Maybe it just got in the way. A sketch for recursive boxes rotated by 90 degrees. I decided not to implement them due to programming complexity. You know, I was wondering about that. I brought that up one time. I don't know if it made it into a video. But I'm surprised 90 degrees didn't make it. But complexity, I guess, makes sense. A bug where drawing was not completely or correctly clamped when a box entered itself, causing lag. Wonderful. <laughs> Another amusing visual bug. What a puzzle looks like in the editor. A generated image of every box in the game. Puzzles as an area use graphics from early in development. Might, might as well look through all the gallery stuff. Is very Baba-esque. Wait, oh, okay. These puzzles consist, consist of early graphics. So I've got to set this up here and transfer and make to my goal. But that is not enough to win just yet. Weird. Oh, super weird. Wait, what? Let me reset real quick. What I need to do is push the world inside green. I understand now. So in here, I'll push this and then have green exit itself. But I still have to have that level solved inside of blue. What gives? Oh God, this is harder than I thought. See, I thought I could just push this into here and I can, Never mind. All right, got those done. Wait, was this a level? I think, oh, this was a level. Early graphics level. So this is a void block. Let me push all this into the void real quick. Set this up here. Then push this in. And then, let me actually push this down into the corner. No, I can't actually be doing that. That's not okay. But I've gotta be able to push down somehow. Well, I guess I can do this now. That works. So I push down and then got to push this out and then back in again. But then I got to access the side for myself. Well, that shouldn't be too bad actually, because now I can just push this to the right, enter and win. And one more level with the old graphics It's recursive. So I've got to swallow the level inside the level and then go to here, and then... I don't know if I can do much with it, though. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it can do much just yet. Oh, I see. I understand now. I can go through the this corner here. I didn't even notice that at first. But it all makes sense now. How do I free up this green block now? Can I have green go in? Well, then I'm just as stuck as I was before. Oh, okay. I push this into green. I push green over here and then I can exit below green. There we go. That took a decent chunk of time for some reason. Um, let me actually push this out first just so I don't have to deal with that later. Now we can win. Okay. All right. All right. Jeez, the big circles show up. That's not weird to look at at all. So I beat the gallery. I think I can tackle challenge levels next time and explore more of this area. 
yeah, that'll be fun to look into next time. So post-game content still on the horizon. Hope you guys are excited for hard Paradox levels in the future. The game has kind of only begun, but this feels more post-game than anything else. Maybe there's a true ending at the end of it all. Stay tuned. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day and peace.